couple of questions. One, what are your and Reggie's opinions on almonds versus peanuts? Okay. Um, oh, that's rough. They're both good. Okay. Um, upsides and downsides, I guess. Um, almonds, I find that sometimes when they're like dry and flavorless, they're like hard to eat in a way. I, and sometimes I like choke on them. <laughs> Peanuts, um, super useful. You can do butters with it. You can cook with them. But almonds are pretty good too when they're well prepared. Um I'll go with peanuts just because they're so much more useful and they are very tasty. But almonds, almonds sometimes they can be uh, hard to eat. Like, you know, when you buy like a batch of almonds and there's like no salt, no nothing, and you chew on them, it's kind of rough sometimes, I feel. But they're still really good. Like almond croissant, that shit is godlike. That's pretty, pretty good. That, see, like, they're good and bad. They're good and bad things about both things. I don't want to, like, pick one. I, you can't make me choose. Unsalted peanuts, unsalted almonds, okay. salted almonds, salted peanuts, Yeah. barbecue salted peanuts. I can get beyond that. I can get beyond that. That's what we're doing. Um, we're not even going to work the other nuts into the equation. Dude, because too many it nuts. Gets, it's, yeah, the, the tier list gets too complex. So we're just, just keeping it to those two. Honey almonds. Honey butter almonds. Honey honey peanuts. Honey butter te- peanuts? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it's just... Like, peanuts beat almonds except for when they're uns- unsalted. Okay, yeah. Then peanuts become worse than almonds. Okay. That's basically the deal. I can agree with that. Um, And I also have personal trauma associated because... When I was a kid, I remember I had a, a drawer where uh, I had a, a bag of almonds that uh, my mom gave me or that like, yeah, I think that she gave me. The history is my mom would always give us a, a bottle of cashews, right? Grenada cashews is a thing. And we'd always get them and they're great and yada, yada. Salted and, cashews? Uh, they, they, these were not salted, actually. Okay. They were just... But these is cashews unsalted as they're better than peanut and almond. Uh, we can't work that in. That we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you want to start working in pecans and that's fair, and and on cashews and all that shit, we're gonna get lost in the weeds. We can't do it. We don't have time. All right. Um, I will say that if you are a sunflower seed eater, you need to get the fuck out. You are not welcome here. You and your kind need to go back to the fucking dumpster you crawled out of. All right. Unless you pick up after yourself. Unless you pick up after yourself, which in which is case. Rare. But you don't. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> I would never don't lie you. like I'm willing to accept you if you pick up after yourself but let's be fucking real yeah. you don't oh, yeah, yeah. I know you don't it's rare it's like one percent because you love it you love the mess yeah. you <laughs> love <laughs> spitting it out of your mouth and you love walking away from that stadium seat with a pile right in front of the chair that's kind of like a fucking as if an animal was just here <laughs> right you love you love letting everybody know that this is my fucking pile I did it you do we know you do. So you didn't clean up. So fuck you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Back on topic. Um, there was, um, we'd get cashews and all that shit. And what we'd always do is she'd put like the cashews in our top drawer and like the sock drawer. Yeah. It just, I don't know. Okay. It was just a thing. It'd be like, ah, oh, go get your little mm-hmm. snack and whatever, okay. you know? So, so that time with the bag of almonds. So I put the bag of almonds in the same place that we usually do. And I and think an almond fell and in I the think drawer. one came in, fell into the drawer. Outside. Outside the bag. Okay. So I'm trying to guess what happened. I'm thinking yes. critters. So then I came one day to grab the bag and I saw the line and I saw the ants. Yeah. And I saw it it was an almond that was whole, right? And like they basically, and then when I went to pick it up, it was hollow, and they were inside. Oh no! And no, the, no, and no, the no, shell no, 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 cracked no. open, and they were <laughs> all inside no, no. because they cleaned out the inside but left the outside intact. No, I would have flipped. I would have flipped, and it freaked me the fuck out. Yeah, right? Yeah. And I went, "Oh god damn it!" And I started opening up the drawer, and then I grabbed 
like you know the the clothes and pulled it out and i grabbed the bag which uh i think there was they they had like gotten a hole into and yeah. they were starting to because they were doing the line now. okay yeah they saw the bag they saw the, the loose one that right gave here. them the scent uh-huh. and they're like here it is and they got in and they were doing it and it, yeah, yeah and, and, and it's not guy. it's not the almond sh- there's no shell to an almond it's literally the brown outside coating the skin the skin the skin looked like a normal almond, and when you go to touch it, it falls apart, and they're ants. all ants inside, right? Oh my god! It's like a spider, fucking Ugh. exactly, like a, like a pregnant spider. Yeah, no, exactly. oh, totally, man, that's, that's totally the worst. And then, so I'm grabbing all, all my shit out. I'm like, oh fuck, 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 right? And I grab the bag, and I see where that goes, and I see, oh no, the line. They found it, and they've been coming up from the the underside here. And I remember, and then the other thing in that drawer was the Bible. And I grabbed the Bible, and I just uh, like I grabbed the Bible to move it out to to see what was what else was going Lord on. Lord help me! And then I saw ants when I picked up the Bible like crawl onto my hand, no. and I was like ah! Oh, and yeah. I threw the Bible, uh-huh. and it landed on the bed. And when it landed on the bed, it just exploded into ants, dude. <laughs> oh my god! They went all up inside the book. And like it landed on the bed and went. No, that's that's nightmare stuff. And I'm like, ah! that's nightmare <laughs> stuff, man. That is a formative memory. Yeah, no, that's the cool. hollowed out ant filled almond shell, and then uh, the fucking Bible just crawling with them. And it was one of those ones where like the side pages, the sides of the it were like kind of tilted, tinted red. You know, like you, those Bibles that have like gold yeah, on yeah. the thing, exactly. And it was red, and like I just remember like looking at it from, and you're seeing from the side, and you're like you're seeing like there's the red, and then there'd be the dark areas where the pages were like kind of like you know sticking up a bit more than others. Yeah, like when you have a thick book, you just have you know, and out of those little spaces, little ants were just craw- crawling out from the little spaces between the red pages, you know. And I was just like, ah, so yeah. Uh, that was real and horrifying. And that is what is also going through my brain when you ask me, peanuts versus almonds. <laughs> You're like, almonds? Z- zoom, <laughs> zoom back out of my eyes. And I go, I like peanuts more than almonds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it entirely. Okay. Dude. That happened. That's real, dude. Ugh. Well, I, I I know exactly how you feel. Like your almond mm-hmm. for me is dandelions, because I must have been like three or four years old, and I was out with my mom and dad, and we go back in the car, and I picked up a dandelion on the side of like a, a field or something, and I'm like, oh, it's such a beautiful flower, and I sit in the car, and we're riding, and we're about to go out, and I go to open the door, and there's the dandelion and ants all over my uh, arms uh, and i screamed and from that yeah. day on i don't want to like dandelions i don't touch them i don't fuck they're them. weeds dude they spread yeah well unwillingly scary you know so the, the walking ant thing yeah i'm with you there i know did you got no problem hate on a dandelion all you want they do not ask for consent <laughs> no. they just show up what up this is my yard uninvited mm. um nah and and so I, I will say that at the very least the, the the formative lesson from that horrifying moment was like do not let food like a nut land on the ground in the kitchen and you don't pick it up. And look around on the floor every once in a while yeah, to see if there's something just here. to make sure. Because holy shit, like there's this is how you get ants as the as the joke, you know? <laughs> you leave your fucking Pepsi can out or whatever. Okay, yeah, cool. Not an issue if you're not, you know, doing that. But like just leaving little fucking crumbs around, they're gonna get at it, man. So like I'm just from that moment, I'm like, okay, don't, don't, don't let that happen. And also, sometimes if you see one, it might not be really what it is. It might already be take it it might already be a colony you know so yeah there's a little bit of paranoia i'm good there's a little bit of paranoia on that that's um that's our that's our peanut that's our peanut tier tier list peanut wins hope hope you enjoy peanut wins